Today is the one year anniversary. Today is the one year anniversary since I posted my first video here on YouTube. And how am I going to celebrate? I have no freaking. Today marks the one year anniversary of my first video here on YouTube. And how am I going to celebrate? I have no freaking idea. And even though I don't really know what I'm going to be doing for this video, I do know there's no review today. So if you're looking for a review, you might want to come back in a couple days because I'll have something else new then. Just as when I started this channel, I didn't really know what I was going to do, but I'm starting this video, I don't really know what I'm going to do. It could be a video about nothing at all, but I think maybe I'll do some behind the scenes looks and maybe also take you on a road trip with me around town when I do one of my As Seen on TV product runs and hopefully get an insight of what's happening behind the scenes at this empire known as Freaking Reviews. Today I'm reviewing a product uh, by the name of Handy Heater. There it is. One thing I thought I'd do is take the camera along with me on one of my scavenger hunts for new SEO on TV items. Now here's the thing, I can go on the website and see what they have listed in their inventory, but I found that that's not always accurate. So I actually have to go in the stores and look myself because it might not show anything new on the website, but I go in the store and I'll have a new product there. And that's kind of what I like to specialize in, this new SEO on TV products. So I'm making some rounds today and I brought my camera with me. This might be incredibly boring, but maybe not. We'll see. All right, first stop on my scavenger hunt is the Galleria Mall in Henderson, Nevada. Well, there's nothing in the ASEAN TV store, so now it's off to Bed Bath & Beyond. That's next. Stop number two is Bed Bath & Beyond. Well, that's really dropped in price. I wonder why. Did that one. That one's new. Ha. Kind of lumpy. <laughs> Did it, did it. Nothing new, so next. This is definitely my least favorite stop on my entire journey today. Check this out, it's Walmart. Ugh. Ooh, score one. Ho oh. ho. Well, I may not like Walmart, but I did find Vino Pop here, which I haven't seen in any stores yet, so kind of scored even though it's not my favorite place. Next, as the tour continues, I'm off on my way to Fry's. They got a big ass on TV section here. Let's see if they got anything new. All right, next up on the agenda is Walgreens. You might be surprised that Walgreens sometimes has a pretty good selection of ass on TV products. Sometimes I find stuff here first. Like I think I found tech glasses here first, which I'm not wearing because I don't wear those in public that much. Yeah, they had a pretty small ASEAN TV section. Some have big ones, some don't. There's another Walgreens up the street. I might hit that one before my appointment at 1.30. All right, here we go, Walgreens number two. This is a bigger store down the street, so hopefully they have more stuff in stock. Yeah, it's a big no. All right, next up on my stop is not an ASEAN TV hunt. This is some laser procedure I'm having done, which reminds me, there's actually been... Oh wait, am I wearing Redshift XT? Hang on. I wear those in the car. I don't wear them out in public. Anyways, there's been several reviews that I never did finish filming. I was going to do a review of laser treatments of before and after. I'm going to go in there, but first I'm going to cut away to show you a few clips of videos I never did finish. It was getting hot feeling, but this feels way better. I felt like steam was coming off my head when I put this on here. Um, I noticed in the shower today that pieces of skin were starting to come off. Atomic Beam Lantern, Bell & Howell Tack Light Lantern. I use both of them regularly and I still use one, but the other one stopped working suddenly. Atomic Beam still works. Tack Light Lantern doesn't. I know I've showed this before. This is my As Seen on TV archive. Here's what I didn't do. I purchased these Swerve Ball and Blitz Ball. I intended to do this in the spring and I had someone lined up to help me with it and it never happened. So I guess I'll just wait until next spring. So sometimes I get stuff and it just doesn't work out. Three Second Brow was another one I purchased and never did a video for. Look, I paid 20 bucks for it and did some initial tests, but the people that I tried to test on were so embarrassed by the way it looked, they didn't want to be on camera with a three second brow, so I had to shelve this product. Currently, I'm working on low back tracks, and this one I'm having a hard time with as well because it's supposed to help back pain and take several weeks. I've been doing it for a couple weeks, but I mean, how am I going to present my results 
it's subjective. Everybody's going to have a different problem. So sometimes a product like this is kind of difficult to review because I might have no results and some people might have amazing results or vice versa. So I, some products like these are a little bit difficult for me to actually review. I think I might stop at one more place on the way home. But so far in my trip, I've gone to As Seen on TV store, Bed Bath & Beyond, Walmart, Fry's, Walgreens. I come up with one thing. And for me, that's actually pretty good. A lot of times I come out and do these runs, I get nothing. And then I have to go online and look for more stuff there. So it's definitely a process. Well, I'm at Target next, getting a little burnout. But we'll see if they got something here. I think I'm done after this. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. Didn't do that one. First video, ugh. Did it, did it, did it. Never did that one. Did it, did it, did it. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. Did I do that one? Did it, almost did it. That's not assy on TV. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. And nothing new. Oh well. This is actually where I film a lot of my intros and outros on this black screen right here. And yes, that is a acoustic bass guitar. In fact, you probably don't even know that I'm a lifelong musician. Watch this. Here's my bachelor's degree in music. Remember those? This is my master's degree in music. That's me too. In fact, here's a zombie version of me playing the bass guitar. And right here below this cool 3D picture of Bob Marley is my prized possession. A late 80s carbon fretless bass. I'm the original owner. In perfect condition. How about that? But I digress. The first two cameras I used when I was doing my channel was the Sony Action Cam and this Nikon D3200. Um, it was a little bit, this was a little bit more than I needed and this had that kind of fisheye lens and going back and forth between the two of them wasn't really a great solution. So after a couple months I ended up switching to the Sony RX105 which I think is a great camera. It's got this cool flip lens, quality is really good, it's compact, this is a great camera. Can you figure out what this is? These are over a hundred as seen on TV manuals for the products that I've reviewed so far. I mean, we got Samurai 360, Robo Twist, Booty Max, Zap Light, Wobble Wag Giggle. Got over a hundred here. Why do I leave them out? Because people are always asking me questions that I may not have covered and I have to sometimes refer back to the manual to answer their questions. So I always have to leave these out nearby. I'm in the process of scanning these so I can find them easier. But for now, most of them are in this kind of not that great format. So if you ever, have a question for me, I usually have the answer either from use or from one of these manuals. One thing that some people may have noticed is that I've lost quite a bit of weight since the early videos that I had on here, probably about 30 pounds. So sometimes when you see some of those, especially the ones from right around Christmas time, eh, a little bit heavier. It looks a little different now, especially when I had a fuller beard and uh, 30 extra pounds. It definitely looks a little bit different. You may have heard of Neo Tracks or Twister Tracks, which are both very similar to Magic Tracks. Speaking of beards, I've actually shaved my beard off not once, but twice for this channel. I sacrificed my beard for this video, so hopefully you at least appreciate that. One of the most common questions I get on this channel is, do you get these products for free or do you pay for them? Do you return them to the stores? How do you work that? Well, I pay for them all myself. I don't get any freebies. In fact, I'm not sure these companies would really want me to be doing some of these reviews because some of the products aren't very good and I'll say that and they're not going to want to sponsor something like that so I paid for all of my products in fact check this out one way I keep track of all my products is I have this fancy spreadsheet here in fact if you notice in this column I actually keep track of how much I paid for it and when it was posted now check this out scroll down scroll down can you guess how much I've spent on all these products because I buy them all myself Grand total is $2,800. That's how much money I've spent out of my own pocket on these Asti on TV products. I don't take freebies and I don't return them. That's right, I'm pushing $3,000 of investment in products I've purchased for this channel. The most expensive product was Veggie Bullet. That was $174. So I've also tried to take the camera with me on vacation and do some product reviews on the road. Sometimes it seems to work better than others. I mean, you don't mean to just sit at a desk all day long just talking about a product, do you? Well, I don't. Just jumping on the plane right now. In the Minneapolis airport now, on my way to Des Moines from here. 
Now I'm sitting here in a hotel, the Monte Carlo in Las Vegas, Nevada. Well, I'm here in Maui for the next nine days. So let's recap what I found here in Chicago with the tracking device. I'm here in Huntington Beach, California, and I brought the Redshift XT glasses with me. Yep, it's gonna be a while. I will say this, Bailey's been in a lot of my videos. Sometimes I think she steals the spotlight from me whenever she's in my videos, because that, that dog is entertaining for many reasons. Right, Bailey? Good girl. So I want to thank Bailey for being in my videos and helping me with the pet product reviews. She does a really good job, right, Bailey? Good girl. Oh, no, no. So I want to thank everyone who has subscribed, who's commented. Well, most people who've commented. Some of those comments I'm not sure about. But I want to thank everybody who has supported this channel, left encouragement, made suggestions, made critical suggestions, because those all have helped me make the channel better. And hopefully in another year, I'll be celebrating my two-year anniversary, and who knows where I'll be at that point. So until next time, this is James White with Freaking Reviews. Thank you.